As for Scotty Barnes, a 6 for 8 board out of Florida State has broke out and shown some excellent promise for a Raptors roster as their young rookie and a bright spot in today's NBA. Many people compare Scotty Barnes to a young day Draymond Green or a Magic Johnson as are many comparisons made to him by many great and current day NBA players. But as for Scotty Barnes winning rookie of the year, he showed that he's a very good young core player in the NBA for his Raptors team. And in today's video on Mark Scotty's pathway and story to the NBA, as Scotty has been a great and competitive player in the NBA. So let's talk about this. Alright, so before I start this documentary off, let's talk about Scotty and who he is a player. Scotty can play positions 1 through 5, and he's a good lockdown defender, and he's a good point forward in the court, and he makes his team very much better. But honestly, I would say Scotty Barnes is a good player because his size, his length, his playmaking abilities, his passing and defending. He does so much on the court for you within a given amount of time. But honestly, I'm just going to stop talking just start the video off. I'm going to start this video off on a story of Scotty Barnes. So let's get right into this and make sure you like and watch the full video and let's get into this. I'm going to put my face on more, but my room is kind of small, but I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get it started. As for Scotty, he's always been competitive. Growing up, he would compete with his younger brother and try to get better grades than him so he could show it to his mom, hoping he would give him a few dollars. As for his family and all being Jamaican consent, his relatives were also from Canada as well. He wanted to play in his brother's basketball and football teams too, even though he was everyone a few years older than him. Scotty Barnes started playing organized basketball in third grade at the Salvation Army on a team that was mainly made up of fourth graders. Scotty Barnes was born on August 1st, 2001 in West Palm Beach, Florida. Growing up, Scotty idolized many players in the NBA and players like Kobe Bryant, Kevin Durant, Matt Johnson, and more. This is how Scotty Barnes modeled his game into being a crafty, explosive, and big point forward that can almost do anything on the court. Growing up as a kid, Barnes attended Cardinal Newman High School, a school in West Palm Beach, Florida. After Scotty Barnes' great freshman season, he earned the All Arena second team and Max Prep Freshman All American honors after leading Newman to a 19 8 record at the 5A regional semifinals. At this time, the Zen men Scotty Barnes' rise to NBA stardom had started. Going into next season, the Zen men Scotty Barnes had to transfer to a university school in NSU, where he played alongside the nation's best player in Vernon Carney Jr. In his second year in high school, Scotty Barnes led the team to a 32-2 record as for a 38 game played, which then meant him and Bernard Carney Jr. went absolutely crazy as they won the championship doing so. Scotty Barnes led the university school to a City of West Palm Classic Championship and was named the MVP after posting 15 points and 8 rebounds in the final versus a top-ranked East School. At the Geico Nationals, he averaged 21.3 points, 9.7 rebounds per game as the university finished set runners up in second place. In his junior season, Scotty Barnes averaged 13.1 points per game, 4.8 assists per game, leading his team to a 27-5 record and a second straight 5 8 state title. Scotty Barnes went absolutely nuts and ridiculous in high school. After many people thought the competition was too easy for him, as he can do everything you ask him to do and shoot, rebound, and do anything on the court, he'd be like a point forward on the court as many scouts saw him as. As we're seeing what Scotty Barnes did in high school, we all know he'd be special and he could even be ran a point guard and he could switch 1 through 5 and play a small ball center if you asked him to. Later in August, Scotty Barnes then transferred again to Mount Ready Academy to where Preston Chua previously played, but joining the school meant he would form a duo with players like Katie Cunningham and Moses Moody. As for his last senior year in high school. As for Mount Ridley Academy, they called this school being the best high school ever as for how the team was built and constructed. Scotty Barnes on the season out of 11.6 points, 6.5 rebounds, and 4.6 assists per game, helping Mount Ridley Academy to a 25-0 record with an average margin of victory being 39 points. He then received All-American First Team honors from Max Prep and Sports Illustrated as Barnes elected to play the All McDonald American game, as well as the Jordan Brand Classic and the Nike Hoop Summit, but unfortunately, due to all those games, they were canceled due to the pandemic. As for Scotty Barnes, he was a five star recruit as he was the fourth best player in the class and one of the best fours at that time. 
But as for Scotty Barnes, he got many good offers from many good colleges like Kentucky, Oregon, and many other universities. But for Scotty Barnes, he chose the nearest place in his liking. As for him being from Florida, he chose Florida State University. To add on to Scotty Barnes' resume, Barnes won a gold medal with the United States at the 2017 FIBA all Americas Championship in Argentina. After his performance, Scotty Barnes averaged 9.8 points, 3.2 rebounds, and 2.4 steals per game. In the semifinal win versus Argentina, he led all scores with 20 points and 6 steals, while breaking the under-16 record for his free throw percentage and shooting 8 of 8 from the free throw line. Also as well, at the 2018 FIBA's Under-17 World Cup in Argentina, Barnes averaged 9.5 points, 5.8 rebounds, and he got another gold medal adding to his arsenal. And again, Scotty Barnes was then played for the Under-19 World Cup in Greece, where Sky Barnes then won a third gold medal, and he averaged 9.7 points, 4.9 assists, and 2.7 assists per game for that performance. On a team, he would play with many former prospects in Cade Cunningham, Evan Mobley, Jalen Green, and more. This is a good opportunity for him to develop as a player and play with players in his draft class. On March 13, 2021, Sky Barnes scored a career high. 21 points in an 80-75 victory versus Georgia Tech University in the ACC Tournament Championship, which was fine enough. As a freshman, Scotty Barnes averaged 10.3 points, 4.1 assists, 4 rebounds, and a steal and a half per game. This then meant he would earn awards like the ACC Freshman of the Year, the ACC Sixth Man of the Year, and Third Team All-CC Honors. On April 9th, he then declared for a 2021 NBA draft, foregoing his remaining years of college availability and asked for him being a bench player. Scotty Barnes was selected with the fourth pick in the 2021 NBA draft for the Toronto Raptors. As many Raptors fans were surprised at this pick by Misai Ujiri, they were then going towards the selection of Jalen Suggs in the long run. As the Raptors were looking for a point guard replacement for the questioning status of Kyle Lowry, it then meant Messiah had to pick a young prospect in his replacement. After Sky when he arrived in Toronto, many fans were showing him love as always and gratefully welcomed him in open arms. But for Messiah, he made his right pick in doing so after picking a young rook in Scotty Barnes at the fourth pick at the NBA draft. As well, he would get a shoe deal with Nike as he signed a multi year deal with them after being a rookie. After Scotty Barnes, he played a summer league to start off his rookie campaign. He would then get 18 points and 10 rebounds for the next to start off as he'll lead the Raptors to a four run record throughout Las Vegas Summer League. In a Summer League, over the five stretch of games, he would average 20.1 points, four assists, and he shot 27% from the three point line, and he got five rebounds on two assists and a block per night. This was a pretty promising showing for a player of Scotty's caliber, which made many Raptors fans happy. The 20 year old set goals for himself early in the NBA season with Toronto. On October 20th, Scotty Barnes made a debut in putting up 12 points, 9 rebounds, and 1 assist in a 98-83 loss to the Washington Wizards. In this performance, Nick Nurse called performance okay, but he still had high praise and promise in the rookie Scotty Barnes. On October 22nd, he then put up a career double-double with 25 points and 13 rebounds versus the Boston Celtics in the 115-83 win. Scotty Barnes went went off first the league's best duo in Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum. As for seniors, I already know he'll be a top rookie of the year candidate. On January 21st, 2022, Scotty Barnes then scored a career high with 8 rebounds in a 109-105 to win versus the Washington Wizards, where Scotty Barnes went absolutely crazy and tore the Wizards apart. Then on February 25th, Scotty Barnes then posted a career high 28 points along with 5 rebounds and 2 steals in a 125-93 loss versus the Charlotte Hornets. Also, Scotty Barnes would then participate in the Ryan Stars game as he would participate with his former teammate in prime, Patrick Chua. But Scotty Barnes had a fun outing, but the team didn't win the event doing so. But then, after All Star Weekend on February 28th, Scotty Barnes then tied a career high of 28 points in a 133 97 win with the Brooklyn Nets, in playing with idol Kevin Durant, who then had compliments for him afterwards. On March 18th, Scotty Barnes then put up career high 31 points and 17 rebounds in a 128 to 123 loss versus the Los Angeles Lakers in playing against the NBA greats and LeBron James again. 
After starting all the games Scotty played, Scotty Barnes ranked for the average of 15.3 points, 7.2 rebounds, and 3.5 assists, and almost a block per game, while shooting on 49, 30, and 73% shooting splits from the field, free throw line, and free throws. Respectively, Scotty Barnes would play 35.4 minutes a night as for his rookie year campaign. After this, you compare with players like Kawhi, LeBron, and Luka for their first win share numbers. As for a rookie, and honestly, for Scotty Barnes, he'd be compared to a great like Michael Jordan and Larry Bird. As for their first win share as a rookie, as with his value over replacement stat and being 1.9, so this made him truly great as a rookie. In addition, Scotty Barnes was the only rookie to rank top five in points, rebounds, assists, and steals and blocks. And he led the Raptors to their fifth seed in the Eastern Conference for a direct playoff spot. But although they played the Philadelphia 76ers, they lost in six games as Scotty got injured at the beginning of the series. But he played better throughout the end of the series. But honestly, Scotty Barnes had good performances to build off of this. But on April 23rd, Scotty Barnes was named the 2021 to 2002 Rookie of the Year. As his 15 point difference in voting was older runner up Evan Mobley, which was the smallest voting margin in 19 years. Since the current voting for Rookie of the Year format began in 2002-2003. Scotty Barnes became the first Raptor in 23 years to win the award since Vince Carter did in 1999. And he was the third Raptor in franchise history to win the award alongside Vince Carter and Damon Stoudemire, who he already met in his rookie campaign. Barnes is already well known in his Raptors organization. But for Scotty Barnes, the thing he has to improve on is his free throw shooting and his three point shooting, we know that. As Scotty Barnes shot below 30% in college and shot below 60% from the free throw line in college as well. But we all know the Raptors can fix that due to a great development staff, as they can pretty much polish up any weakness Scotty Barnes has. But as for Scotty, he does many things great outside of basketball and he has his own Twitch and YouTube channel. He even plays games such as 2K and many other things. And he's known by many famous content creators such as Aiden Ross, Gideon, and many more, which makes Sly so known around the NBA. But what makes Sly so special is his popularity for a Raptors player, which is very good to see. As for Sly Barnes, he has a great personality, and on the court and off the court, he's a great player, and on any given night, he'll put you in a box and just know that Sly Barnes for the Raptors. If you play him on a good and given night, he'll cause the opponent trouble, and she'll just put all his heart and soul out on the line. So honestly, those are my thoughts. On Scotty and his story and his time in the NBA. So if you are new, please hit that like button, comment, subscribe. As I've been working hard in this video, so if you all can hit that like button, very much appreciated. And it's your boy Demi, I'm signing out. Have a great day, y'all. Peace. If y'all enjoyed the video, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. And make sure y'all leave a like and y'all comment on this video because we're on the road to almost 300 subscribers. You can that like and follow button and sub if you're new. It'll be very greatly appreciated. Let's get this done. Like and follow for more videos because I got more content on the way, man.